Dr. Michael Orozco. I'm an optometrist, an optometric glaucoma specialist. When we're born, we have about 20 meibomian glands in each lid. And as we get older, they tend to clog, again, as a side effect of various medications, lifestyle. Uh, and as those glands clog, then they scar over and they degenerate. So when that happens, we lose the function of those glands permanently. So the dryness becomes a, a, a worsening problem. The first symptom that people usually notice is actually loss of focus, where their eye doesn't maintain clear vision for long periods of time. Uh, it'll stay clear initially, and then they'll have to blink to try to refocus. And then as the disease progresses, they'll start having stinging and burning, sensitivity to light, uh, repeated infections, uh, just generalized sensitivity, uh, and more and more discomfort. We will oftentimes start out with some warm soaks and some lubricating eye drops to try to add more moisture onto the eye. Um, if that's not sufficient, we can add a prescription medicine called Restasis. We can also do treatments to the tear drainage tubes in the corner called the Puncta. Uh, and uh, there is also now a new treatment to actually open up the tear glands themselves. So the purpose of the Lipiflow is to unblock the glands that are clogged to improve the tear flow. The other purpose of the Lipiflow is to prevent those glands that are clogged from scarring over. The treatment actually is, is only a 12 minute process. It's painless. Uh, we put a numbing drop in the eye, the same drop we use when we check for eye pressure for glaucoma. It's just a topical anesthetic drop. Uh, we place the eye pieces, they close their eyes, they just lay back and recline and just rest and uh, it's a warming of the uh, tear glands. It's a very gentle amount of warmth and a very light massage on the lids. The initial studies by the FDA showed an 80% improvement uh, in patients. A follow-up study at Duke University, 90% of the patients achieved improvement. In our clinic, we are compiling our data, but we're achieving about 90% as well. I actually remember a very, very nice lady uh, who had uh, Chemotherapy had gone through quite a few health issues. The first time I saw her, she had her head down. It was very light sensitive. She could barely open her eyes. And her posture was, was slumped over. After the treatment, she stood up. She was very happy. Uh, her whole outlook was very different. Up to now, we would use medications and teardrops to give them some symptomatic relief, but we could not address the true underlying cause, which we now can. So I'm very excited about to be able to now treat the true root cause of the problem and give the patients the relief that they're looking for.